Hello students, welcome back for the class. Today we will be doing the revision of chapter 1, Political Science, Constitution by and how. Okay, so as you know, this chapter is your UT1 part. So it's very important to revise the chapter. So here I am with the revision notes and I hope you have also maintained the revisions notes of this chapter. Great. Let's start the chapter. So when we um, move into the chapter, we have to know about the Indian constitution and how it works. Before we move with the various uh, uh, informations about the Indian constitution, we should also know the various aspects of the working of this constitution. With this, we will be uh, in, with this chapter we will be knowing more institutions or various institutions of the government in our country and their relationships with each other correct so we will be having vast knowledge of elections governments and presidents and prime ministers in this book but the first chapter is dealing with what a constitution means what a constitution does to the society and how constitution govern the allocation of the power in the society. Let's move with the first topic. The first topic or the chapter begins with a very big question that is why do we need a constitution? So before we move with the needs of the constitution, we should know what is a constitution. So first point is dealing with the definition of the constitution. It is said a constitution is a written set of laws and fundamental principles to develop a relationship between the people and the government which comprises a number of articles about the state. Okay, when we talk about a written set of laws, you know, India, Indian constitution is considered as a one of the lengthiest constitution in the world and it is the only written constitution. Okay, so in the written constitution, what we will come to know, we will come to know about the laws and the fundamental principles that were framed for a country's people. So that is, they are even having more uh, solid relationship between the people. So when we talk about the fundamental principles and the laws, they develop the feeling uh, develop a strong relationship between the people and the government. How? If you want to know how, you, you will be having uh, more understanding when we will cover the uh, inside, uh, chap inside uh, topics of the chapters. So this is even having, means this constitution is even having a number of articles for the states for the state means for a country correct so uh, uh, before we move with the functions or the need of a constitution let me give you the framework of our constitution a constitution is divided into 22 parts and every parts and the total number of articles under this parts are 395 395 were at the time of framing, at the time it was framed, okay. So we know that constitution was uh, implemented on uh, 26th January 1950. So till that time we had 395, but today we are having added, uh, we have added the number of articles. So it has become the 445 around. So with this, we are having 12 schedules. Okay, so that is the framework of the frame of the constitution. So first we will discuss the why do we need a constitution? The constitution needs just because it is having a four important points uh, that a country or that the people uh, have or develop for the fundamental rights sorry uh, for the constitution so with this we will and we know that uh, constitution 
we have a constitution just because it provides a set of basic rules to allow the minimum coordination among the members of the society so we know that india has a diverse population and these diverse population has different uh, follows different religion okay in country we are having hindu muslims christians and even more religions which are openly followed by the people so when we are having a varied uh, religions so we always prefer to have respect for that religions so we are having different religions different languages different uh, 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 cultural and traditional followers people so with that they are having different abilities different hobbies different tastes and everything from films to book that matters that is a, we can say everyone's taste religion everything is different so we can say that in our country when we are considered the number uh, number 2 in the population is also having rich or poor or old or young every type of people so for that uh, when we talk about the diversity we have to live with this diversity so that is the togetherness so that people who are living in a country have some coordinations or some um, uh, set rules which everyone has to follow who is living in a country so that is the first point the constitution sorry the first function of a constitution is to provide a set of basic rules is to set or to provide a basic rules to allow for minimum coordinations minimum coordinations with every individual who is living in a country correct so when we talk move the sec, uh, move for the second point it is asking special uh, specification of decision making powers okay we know that india is uh, sorry india is a country following a democratic democratic or a democracy form of government okay so with this we know that uh, india has made the constitution um and it is a body of fundamental principles according to whom a state is constituted or governed okay so we can say a constitution has to provide the answer to many questions which arises in a country okay so when we talk about the decisions making that is telling about the people are eligible or sorry people have the right to speak so when it is decided that um it decides who gets to decide or what the answer uh will be getting so that is telling that india is a completely bail with the constitution so india uh, specifically we can say is having a parliamentary to get to decide uh, gets to decide laws and policy we are not having any single party there we are having a multiple party in a country we are have, we are not uh, bind with the monarchy we are open we are votings of the people okay so that everything is talking about that people uh, has the right to decide okay so that is why we said we say that the power of decisions are constituted with the people so here is the second point that the second function of the constitution is to specify how the government will be constituted and who has the power to make decisions in the society so i said who has uh, sorry how the government will be would be constituted so i said it is constituted by the people 
it will be elected by the people and who has the power to make decisions that is with the parliament with whom we have elected and they are making laws and working for a nation so that is uh, why we need a constitution because everything is written in the constitution and we are moving according to the constitution so who is elected how he is elected what power he is having it's in it is mentioned in the constitution okay let's move to the third point that is ask uh, is uh, limitations on the power of the governments yes very important point is this because when we talk when we say that the government um, a government employee or a government people so that the people does not have every every power in the hand okay he will be having some specific power which is mentioned in the constitution so he knows his work he will be doing his work when he is in a government job or when he is in a government or or we can say in a power we can say because there are two uh, ways of uh, coming in the power one is through the election that is the political representatives are there another one is through the uh, competitive services means competitive exams the services which are done for the people they are the uh, people who come through the competitive exams so we can say they are having um, uh, what you will say every everything in their hand to work for the nation so they are also having some limitations which are guaranteed rights to the citizens okay so we knows their work we knows their powers we knows their limitations so we are always checking them correct i hope you understood this is the third point that is the third function of the constitution is it uh, is to lay some limitations on government powers and guaranteed rights to the citizens okay now uh, the fourth point is coming the aspirations and the goals of um, goals of the society when we talk about the aspirations the aspirations come from the people's mind that how to function means what will be the objectives of the governments objectives of the governments means they when they come to the power they should be having some uh, objectives in their hand so for that they will be working so they will be clear with the objectives that within the power that is the five years they will be working for the nation without any inequality in any of the uh, uh, what you will say discrimination they will be working for the faithful for the faith of the nations so that is generated through the constitution so we can say so whatever um, so whatever it is in the constitution that is um or what uh, whatever it is laid in a uh, fundamental rights directory principles fundamental duties everything is uh, fulfilling the aspiration of the society okay and create conditions for just society just society means only for the country so whatever the person enjoys in the governments it is only to fulfill the certain aspirations of the people okay now move to the fifth point that is telling the fundamental identity of the people so what is the fundamental identity of the people means when we talk about the citizenship a person should have a single identity uh, and that will be equal to everyone what is that fundamental uh, sorry that what is that single identity that is a very much fundamental because um, that is uh, to express uh, sorry that is a constitution expresses the fundamental identity of the people that means 
the people is a collective identity in, uh, and comes into being through a basic constitution because when we talk about the constitution one has many sets of identities that exist prior to the constitution okay they are uh, agreeing on certain basis uh, that is a political identity okay they are um, considered as a political identity beside that we are having moral identity of the people who defines the fundamental values that we may not uh, transpress okay so that the constitution gives one moral identity to a people instead of having a political social or different uh, the person who is um, in a constitution will be having a fundamental identity that is a moral identity okay so that is the fifth uh, fundamental uh, sorry function of the constitution that is to express the funda fundamental identity of the people so beside that what you have to do students you have to read the chapters because the chapter is very vast in explanation let's move to the second important topic of the chapter that is talking about the constitution that is talking about the authority of a constitution authority of the constitution means who got the authority who got to uh perform or to make function for a constitution so for that we have to again move with the very, very important definition that is uh what is the constitution if the constitution will be there will it be effective for a nation or it will be a just a constitution so for that what we have done we have taken uh, examples of different nations which are talking about uh their documents means a single document uh, for example united state united kingdom is uh, having only single document and which cannot be called as a constitution okay so for that what we are needed we needed a document which, which specifies all about the country for example indian constitution indian constitution is in a series series or in a documentation which are which are uh, compiled with a lots of discussion so we can say constitution is a documents or a set of documents that seeks to perform the function that we mentioned earlier okay just now we have discussed so uh, for that we should know what is what was the mode of promulgation promulgation means process so we knew that constitution was not made in a day it it took many days around 2 years 19 uh, sorry 2 years 11 months around so moreover we can say it had 166 meetings okay so it took around more than 2 Uh, years correct so we had uh, that uh, indian constitution was framed by the constituent assembly okay between december 1946 and november 1949 so these years suggest itself that it, it was a three uh, years somewhat uh come now uh, it is a process of three years we can say okay so uh, when we see that more points in this that comes with this ki um, this uh, power of making constitution assembly was started before the independence okay uh, be, um, uh, before the uh, what you will say partition it was started before the partition period so before the partition period only um, british started working or started to work for the constitution of india in which they have planned to have a constitution 
according to the ratios of the britishers and the indian though they worked through the evren uh, sorry simon commission if you have remembered your class 10th history that uh, uh, simon commission came to india to have a look for the constitution which can be framed for the indian so what was the weak point in that that was that no uh, indian was the part of that body that is why the simon commission was boycotted so we can say during that time the framing of framing of the constitution was started so that says ki many countries work uh, sorry many um, people work especially the britishers work to frame the constitution but as i told that indian constitution framing was started earlier indian partis, part, uh, partitions okay so uh, yes when we talk about more points from this mode of uh, promulgation they are talking about the constitution which which drew uh, enormous legitimacy for the fact that it was drawn up by, up by the people who enjoys eminence public credibility so when i talked ki it started from the british rule time that said ki uh it was started by earlier but uh, when it was uh, started at that time uh, it was drawn or it was drawn with the enumerous legitimacy what is the legitimacy legitimacy means to work uh, uh with the work of the uh, with, with the words of the people so they wish, they should be legitimate to answer for their queries so what for that what they have done they have taken uh, or they have given the enormous powers to the people who were who were having the capacity to negotiate with the diverse groups okay so that is uh, not only with the people who are in the constituent assembly they were with the people who were uh, outside because these people who were the part of constitution as constituent assembly they came with the ratio of 1 upon 1 uh, 10 lakhs they have came with the ratio of 1 upon 10 lakhs okay with that it is coming to next topic that is the constitution are often severed not by the people by um, but by the small group okay that i told with the ratio they were not coming with the people but they were coming from the small groups from every from every part or every every uh, provinces or the what you will say uh, many words are there bombay provinces they are having the uh, princely states also british which were under the british rule that was the provinces so they we are having from every group so we who wished to enhance their own powers they were the elected one so well crafted constitution framed uh, fragment power in the society intelligently so that no single group we, uh, can subvert the constitution correct so they will be having a crafted constitution that is the uh, what you will say um, framed in a such way that uh, uh, a single intelligence will not uh, submerge the constitution so indian constitution had horizontally executives and the judiciary um, sorry it will be legislatures executive and judiciary body it is not written here you can make it correct so it is with the judiciary executive and uh, legislative bodies or that is known as the organs and they have the independent strategy bodies like the election commissioners so an intelligent system of checks and balances are also facilitated to success the indian constitution correct so when we talk about these framework of these constitution that is giving the checks and balance on every 
organ so they can um, move with hand in hand and they will uh, uh, no cor no corrupts or no what you will say the um, single dominance will be there okay so uh, before i wind up i will move to the with the last point that is saying the indian uh, sorry the constituent assembly spent two years 11 months and 18 days as i said earlier it, it is a very long process through which they have framed a uh, lengthiest written constitution okay which was adopted on november 29 1949 and came into the force on 26 9th january 1950 so there is also a great history with the dates 26th january the date which was decided by the uh, people for the purna swaraj so this date was already started when the in 1930 when they have given this uh, slogan for the pur swaraj in that year uh, but they could not able to achieve the full freedom so this date though the constitution was framed and ready with the november 1929 sorry sorry sorry, sorry november 26 so they have uh waited for more two months december and january and on this day they enforce the constitution so i hope you understood and uh please revise the topic read the chapter from the ncrt book and uh start making the notes of your own thank you and have a nice day